Hey guys, so this is like the third time me trying this, so let's hopefully it works this time. Um, I lied. I thought I was better. I'm still fucking sick. Um, the last 72 hours has been nothing but pure fucking hell. Um, this isn't gonna be a drama video. This is my life. <laughs> um, and I wanted to kind of fill you guys in, just in case, you know, I didn't make any videos here in the next week. Um, I'm not saying that I may not. It really depends on how things go. And if you made it this far, gold star. Um, I got a call a couple days ago, and my husband was at work. Uh, he ended up having chest pains and blacking out at work. Um, I got the call that an ambulance was taking him to the hospital. So that night we were at the hospital till about two or three o'clock in the morning. Um, everything came back fine. It wasn't a heart attack, thank God. He had been over exhausted because um, in the factory that he works at there's no air conditioning and apparently after he like had blacked out he had a panic attack and that was the medical diagnosis for that now while i was at the hospital with my husband as many of you know i'm a smoker i smoke cigarettes i know it's horrible it's something that i want to quit i just haven't really had the willpower to and that's me being honest um so I was at the hospital, had a few cigarettes left, and most hospitals nowadays you can't smoke on campus, so I had to walk off of the campus of the hospital. And at this point in time, he was asleep. Um, they had run his blood work, they had done the EKGs, um, they already did his, like, x-ray on his chest and all that, and he was just resting a little bit. So I was outside, and I ended up messaging my brother. And I was like, hey, if you're not at work, will you bring me a pack of cigarettes? Which, by the way, I got paid the next day, or he got paid the next day, so, you know, I could have paid him back. It wasn't like I was sitting there trying to be a sister or being a bum, right? Well, needless to say, uh, he was at work, so he couldn't do it. And then, you know, I'm talking about Jason, and then he starts talking about my grandma, who is in a home. And he was saying that, you know, she had been sick. And I was like, well, how long has she been sick? And he's like, oh, for a couple of weeks now. And I'm like, well, why hasn't anybody told me? And it wasn't me being mean. I said it just like that. And he took it offensively and started going off on me. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in right now. So here you guys go. So yeah, you seen that, that's what happened. Um, so needless to say after that, I was crying my eyes out. Um, but it's one of those things where it's like, ever since my mom died, he hasn't really tried to be there. Like I try to get the family together. I try to get stuff going and you know I'm only me I can't make people do things and things like that and the way that that conversation turned I I just I'm done like I I can't I can't physically or mentally deal with that no more and then top it off the very next fucking day, I find out that hospice is going to be a possibility for my grandma, right? Now, the time that I found this out was like 6 o'clock at night. So, I call his mom and I'm like, hey, I need to go see my grandma. You know, and to be in all honesty, I really didn't have the gas for it, but I did it. Um, because it's family, you know what I mean? And 
we go down there and like she just looks horrible she's lost so much weight because she hasn't ate in three weeks she's now got ammonia um and she's been sleeping for days on end and so fast forward to the day they signed the papers hospice has started I mean, you know, like they always say, there's a possibility that she could bounce back and everything will be fine. But I think they say that as almost like a false hope. I mean, she hasn't been eating in three weeks. And then she ends up getting sick. So literally the last 24 hours, well not 24, 72, have been really fucking rough. And I've tried to stay on top of doing videos, but, I mean, it's been so hard. Between me freaking out, thinking something happened with my husband, and I might end up losing my husband because I had no clue until everything was situated. To my brother pretty much telling me to go fuck myself and go to hell, right? And then, here it is, my grandma was going into hospice. Um, it's so fucking hard because here I am and you know I, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking I'm like you know I'm not trying to be an asshole <laughs> it's not like I don't care about my grandma but you know when you only got one car and you've got kids and your husband's working it's not like you know, I can just say, all right, kids, let's go walk two towns over to go visit grandma. It just don't work. And as far as calling family, half of them when I call, it goes straight to voicemail. None of them ever pick up. So it's not like I'm going to be like, hey. And then the one family that I actually did have that was taking me, that took me like one time to go see her. They just randomly stopped, never heard nothing from them again about it or anything, you know what I mean? So it's not like I was, you know, being this asshole on purpose. And it's so fucked up. Like, here is this guy that's supposed to be my brother. And he's sitting here talking to me about... Well, maybe if you would actually go and go check out. Like, I'm not like you. I don't have, like, six fucking cars and can go anytime I fucking want. And, you know, I don't want to say, well, he don't have kids because he don't know. But he doesn't. He doesn't have kids. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like I can sit there and be like, you know what? I'm going to jump in the car today, go do it, whatever the fuck I want, fuck my husband, and him having to get back and forth to work for the next few weeks. Like, realistically, I can't do that. And it, I just don't understand. I don't get it. I don't understand, like, what's his thought process behind it. But whatever, you know what I mean? I'm like this. I've had so many people in my family fuck me over. I've had so many people in my family act one way to my face and then two seconds later be different, you know, so, I mean, that's not nothing new, it's whatever, but I would figure that a man that is almost 50 would have some fucking common sense, I don't know, so that's what's been going on in my life, I hope you guys, you know, stick with me, thank you all who have been subscribing to me lately, and like the content that I'm making, because I'm really fucking trying just been a hard few days. Thanks, guys.